Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Hey everyone! Ever had your blood pressure taken during a doctor's visit and wondered about that device that squeezes your arm? Well, that nifty tool is called a sphygmomanometer. I know, it's a mouthful, but it's more fascinating than it sounds. In today's video, we're diving into what a sphygmomanometer actually is, how it works, and the curious story behind who invented it. Trust me, by the end of this, you'll never look at that arm cuff the same way again. First things first, let's break down the term itself. Sphygmo comes from the Greek word for pulse, and manometer refers to a device that measures pressure. Put it together and you have a device that measures the pressure of your blood flow. Essentially, it's what doctors and nurses use to check your blood pressure, which is a crucial indicator of your overall health. A typical Sphygmo manometer comes with a few key parts the inflatable cuff that wraps around your arm, a small pump, either manual or automatic, that inflates the cuff, a gauge that reads the pressure, and a release valve that lets the air out. The most common type you've probably seen is the aneroid sphygmomanometer, where a needle moves on a dial. There are also digital versions which give a quick electronic readout, super handy for at-home use. The principle behind it is simple yet ingenious. When the cuff inflates, it temporarily cuts off the blood flow in your arm. As it deflates, the pressure in the cuff reduces and blood starts flowing again. The point at which the blood begins to pulse through the artery is called the systolic pressure. This is the first number in a blood pressure reading. The point at which the pulsing stops is called the diastolic pressure, the second number. Your blood pressure reading is given in millimeters of mercury, mmHg, with the systolic number over the diastolic one, like 120 over 80. That's your typical healthy range, though it varies depending on the person. The history of this device is surprisingly rich. The invention of the sphygmomanometer is credited to an Italian doctor named Scipione Riva Rocci. Back in 1896, he developed the first clinically practical version of the device we know today. But the journey of measuring blood pressure starts a bit earlier than that. Let's go back to the mid-1600s. Physicians at the time were desperate to understand how blood moved through the body. One of the earliest pioneers in blood pressure research was William Harvey, an English physician. He discovered the circulatory system and how blood was pumped by the heart. But there wasn't yet a way to measure the pressure of blood moving through the arteries. Fast forward to 1733, and you've got Stephen Hales, an English clergyman and scientist who conducted the first ever recorded blood pressure measurement. Now this part is a bit intense. He actually inserted a glass tube directly into the artery of a horse and measured how high the blood rose. This crude method gave a basic understanding of blood pressure, but wasn't exactly something you'd want done to you at a doctor's office. By the 19th century, scientists and doctors were actively trying to find a less invasive way to measure blood pressure in humans. That's where Scipione Rivarocci comes in. He was an Italian internist, and his main contribution was the invention of the modern sphygmo manometer in 1896. His version used a simple rubber cuff to constrict the arm, a mercury manometer to measure pressure, and a stethoscope to listen to the pulse. The invention was a game-changer in the medical world, as it provided a non-invasive, reliable, and relatively easy method to measure blood pressure. Although Riva Rocci's original design was bulky and awkward compared to what we use today, it laid the groundwork for modern sphygmomanometers. While Riva Rocci gets the credit for the invention, the device has undergone some tweaks and improvements over the years. 
One of the key figures in this evolution was Dr. Nikolai Korotkov, a Russian surgeon who in 1905 discovered that the best way to determine blood pressure was by listening to the sounds of blood flow, what we now call Korotkov sounds. He found that by listening through a stethoscope while inflating and deflating the cuff, doctors could more accurately pinpoint systolic and diastolic pressures. This refinement was significant because it made blood pressure measurements more reliable and more widely applicable. Today, thanks to Korotkov's discovery, most modern sphygmo manometers use a similar method. Whether you're using a manual or automatic version, they all rely on the same principles discovered over a century ago. Digital sphygmo manometers, which became popular in the latter part of the 20th century, further streamlined the process. These devices automatically inflate the cuff, listen for the Korotkov sounds electronically, and give you a quick readout. They're incredibly useful for people monitoring their blood pressure at home. Okay, now that we know what a sphygmo manometer is and how it evolved, let's talk about why it's so important. Blood pressure isn't just a number doctors keep track of for fun. It's one of the most critical indicators of cardiovascular health. High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is a leading cause of heart disease, stroke, and kidney failure. Without a sphygmo manometer, doctors would have no way to measure these risks effectively. Catching high or low blood pressure early can make all the difference in managing a person's long-term health. It allows doctors to prescribe lifestyle changes, medications, or other interventions to bring blood pressure back to a healthy range. And for people who are already dealing with chronic conditions like hypertension, regular blood pressure monitoring can be life-saving. So there you have it, the Sphygmo Manometer, a tool you probably never gave much thought to, but one that plays a critical role in modern medicine. Invented by Scipione Riva Rocci and refined over time by scientists like Nikolai Korotkov, this device has become a cornerstone in medical diagnostics. Whether it's in a doctor's office or at home, it helps people monitor one of the most important aspects of their health, blood pressure. Next time you're at the doctor and they whip out that arm cuff, you'll know exactly what's going on and appreciate the history behind it. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.